Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. The energy which is stored in the bonds of chemical compounds, molecules and atoms. It is released in the chemical reaction and mostly produces heat as a byproduct, known as an exothermic reaction. The examples of stored chemical energy are biomass, batteries, natural gas, petroleum, and coal. Let's help you make your mark. Common sources of chemical energy. Wood. Wood is an easily available source of chemical energy. Coal. The most basic source of chemical energy is coal. Gasoline. The gasoline that we use in cars is also a source of chemical energy. Photosynthesis. Electrolysis. Let's help you make your mark. Before you can look at how nuclear energy is used in your life, you need to look at the two types of nuclear energy. Nuclear fusion. When you think about nuclear fusion, think about things fusing together. Nuclear fission, electricity, nuclear weapons, space exploration, nuclear medicine, food treatments. Take our lead. Chemical energy is energy stored in the bonds of chemical compounds, like atoms and molecules. This energy is released when a chemical reaction takes place. Usually, once chemical energy has been released from a substance, that substance is transformed into a completely new substance. Make your mark, take our lead. Sound energy is produced when an object is made to vibrate. Sound energy travels out as waves in all directions. Sound needs a medium to travel through, such as air, water, wood, and even metal. Examples. Voices, whistles, horns and musical instruments. Take our lead. Energy has many forms, such as light, heat, electricity, chemical energy, stored in chemical bonds, and mechanical energy, moving matter, such as flowing water. All energy forms are divided up between two main kinds of energy. Before potential energy can be used it is transferred into kinetic energy. Let's help you make your mark. Your body uses chemical energy every day to perform daily tasks. Food contains calories and when you digest food, the energy is released. The molecules in food are broken down into smaller pieces. As the bonds between the atoms break or loosen, oxidation occurs. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.